Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just coming on with a quick um, extra little project for you today because I am taking part in my upline Amanda's Stamping for All um, Facebook group colour challenge. Three colours, um, Pool Party, Blackberry Bliss and Highland Heather. Haven't had this, um, this one out in a while. So what I've done is I've got Pool Party card base which is four and one eighth of an inch by five and seven eighths. We've got Blackberry Bliss Matte Layer, which is an eighth of an inch smaller, and the same again with a piece of Whisper White. I also have a piece of Whisper White for the inside. Now, I wasn't sure what stamp set to use, so if you're not sure, you better stick with what you know. Well, today anyway, because I'm far too tired to think of anything else. Oh, that sounds bad, but my brain's not working. Okay, so let's protect my grid mat. You know me. Right, so I've got my Stamparatus over to the side. Um, I'm going to use two wild rows because I think this will look absolutely gorgeous in these colours. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the first one. Now this is my card front, obviously. Okay, so let's start with the Blackberry Bliss. Let's see how this goes. So I'm just going to gently ink up my stamp. Like so. Make sure it's all covered, okay? I am going to stamp the rows right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm going to keep it simple. Um, let me dry this off. I've got too much water in my stamping scrub. <laughs> okay. Oh, I do like... Oh, you forget, you forget um, how fabulous colours are that you haven't used in a while. And this was my first colour purchase. Um... When I first became a demonstrator. Right, now, I need to figure out where this stamps. I should really mark them. I think that goes... No, it doesn't. Uh, I think that goes... No. My goodness, what's going on? You know what, ignore it. I'm going to use the second part stamp because I do know where that goes and look I've smudged my card slightly I'm gonna have to turn that over guys sorry I'm gonna have to stamp that again ink wasn't quite dry it shows how even after a year a whole year of buying this um, and not re-inking it or anything it shows you just how much they do keep their um, moisture right so I've stamped that clean this off Getting this everywhere. Right, so let me do something. Ah, clean, clean, clean. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. The reason I'm going with that layer is because um, I know where to stamp it on top of. <laughs> what am I like? I'm cheating. Taking the easy option. Right, now I'm going to stamp this in Highland Heather. Now I may stamp off to see if that's going to be too dark no I'll go with the dark so oops ink it up right now figure out where the um, bitties go again does that go there oh my look I've got mixed up again is it this way yes let me just position that as best I can. Stamp. I'm just going to hold a wee second. <gasps> Do you like it? Lovely, lovely. Right, so clean that off. I think this is going to be very pretty. And when I get paid, I am going to buy a whole new load of stamp sets because I need a new challenge. I'm all played out with the other ones for the minute. 
Right, now, time for the leaves. So we're starting off with the outline. I'm going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss and then I'm going to infill it with the pool party just for something different, okay? Beautiful. Now I'm just going to make sure that the line touches my rose as best possible so it looks joined on. I'm kind of thinking that floral stamps are my new favourite type of stamp. Right. So, I've done that. Let's get the infill one. Now there is a three stage stamp as well. I'm going to go with a more solid one, which I don't tend to use, hence why it's really, really sticky still. Right, so let's open up the pool party. These will keep their stickiness if you look after them. Right, okay, so what we're doing is we're just placing it as best we can. Wow, like that. Over the top. How beautiful is that? Because it's got the Blackberry Bliss on there, it does look more of a green than a blue on this project. Wow. 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 I do like that. Right, okay, that's the card front so far. I'm going to make a start to the card insert because um, I want to do the exact same colours, so let's repeat that. Okay, so Blackberry Bliss on the first stamp for the rose. Okay. Right, what way did I put it? Put it like so. Now I'm just going to do it slightly off to the corner. A little bit more because, um, what do you call it? I don't want it taking up too much room in the card. Right, now for the infill section. Which goes like so. And this is going to be Highland Heather. So again, just pop it down best you can, press and hold. Love it. Love it, love it. Clean that off. What is it now? It's the leaf outline, isn't it? And again, what I'm going to do is just take it a little closer to the edge. So there's one leaf. Just to give people a little bit more room inside to actually um, write a sentiment or something. You, see, you can see what I've done there. I do like that. Now, I will be just uploading this to YouTube straight from my phone. Um, and when I put my computer on later, I will add in all the links, etc. to the products. Okay. So... Look at the colour of this block. Right, now for the pool party. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, I do like these colours. You know what, Amanda? Amanda's challenges are um, very good for a reason. She certainly knows her colour schemes. She's such an, an inspiration to me, you know. Obviously, because she's my upline, she would be. That's why I... Um, decided to go with her. Well, that's how I found out about Stampin' Up. It was through Amanda's channel. Right, now, what we're going to do now is we're going to build the card and then I'm going to stamp on it last. Okay. So I'm keeping my inks open. Um, remove a little bit dry glue from there. I am on a roll with my crafting. And, you know what, because I do suffer from um, acute fatigue, where I lose days at a time, that is when, that is why I am at least a month in advance with all of my series that I produce on my YouTube channel, the links to my blog, etc, etc. 
because um, I lost about four days there and a couple of days off my work due to acute fatigue and pain. Oh, I wasn't a happy bunny. Okay, there's their card front. How lovely is that? And on Saturday, I have my Wrapped and Played product based um, Christmas table decor workshop. That was a that was a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing the ladies. Right now, what I want to put in here is I am simply going to stamp hello. I think. Let's see what other segments. Hello. Um, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to pop it down there. I think I will stamp it. Or should I put it up here? I'll put it down here. Right, let's get a little block. Blackberry Bliss it is. I am just going to pop it there. Please, please don't be squint. Hello. That is it. I'm not even putting any embellishments on this because I don't think it needs it. Okay. And from the inside I'm going to do some more sentiments. Blessed. Um, to be your friend. Yeah, let's do that. So flip your stamp around the right way. Hmm, where should I put it though? Hello, and... Hmm. Da, 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 I don't know what to do now. I've got stuck. Um, let's mix it up with a different set. I have the stitched all around that um, stamp set out as well. And I've just spied a couple of little stamps on there that would be ideal for this. Right, so let's get the two wild rows popped away in my stamp stash. Uh, I'm going to put lovely friend. So it says hello in the front and inside lovely friend. Now we need to be careful with this. This is one of the older style of red rubber. Don't want this falling off of my card. Um, because these are not cling. Uh, and let's see. I'm going to stamp lovely in the Highland Heather. Please don't fall off. Hello, lovely. Hello, hello. I'm as daft as a brush, am I? <laughs> Better being daft than boring. I'm just breathing on my block, trying to pick up the stamp. I may need to put a little glue dot on that one. Uh, this is going to be in the pool party. And I'm just going to pop it down directly underneath. Hello, lovely friend. Why do I make that funny voice? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm not right in the head. Oh dear, what am I like? I do like that. So, that was a nice easy card. Absolutely stunning. I would never have made this colour scheme of card if it wasn't for being a part of um, other diamond traders groups. Um, just like the some of them are in mine. We all inspire, create and share with each other, which is a Stampin' Up motto. So there we have two wild rows, card sketch challenge using stitched all around, two wild rows, and the lovely three colours um, set by Amanda. So thank you so much for watching. Um, none of my customers have actually bought this set off me yet. Um, even though I do show you how beautiful it is. Don't be scared of floral stamp sets. Okay? So, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll um, speak to you all soon. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.